I've always n noticed the opposites. Major, minor, man, woman, good, bad, birth, death. Uh, day, night, you know, up, down, left and right. And with, of course, with all of the increments that in they are, are encased with these different shades of difference. Um, but yes, I've always thought that way. I found it much more uh, not only logical, but also realistic to, to see in ways that were no longer um, succumbed to the opposites. One of the greatest examples of that is music on a staff. It goes from left to right. The clef, one of seven clefs, is on the left, and then begins the melodic uh, perforations of that staff. As opposed to, let's say, taking that, that five-line stave and lifting it in a circle, when you join it at 12 o'clock high, it now has no beginning, it has no end. The other one had a beginning and an end. This one has no beginning and no end. And when you put the 12 tones equally balanced across the circle, you have the same thing as a clock with 12 hours. And now the music began to show me similarities with north, east, south, and west. The certain intervals, the two major, two major intervals, one being three and one being four, three being augmented, four being diminished. The four being 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock in three notches. Three times four equals 12. Or the three as a triangle from 12 o'clock to four o'clock to eight o'clock. And that moves in four notches, four times three. That made much more sense to me architecturally, music itself, and my exploration of music came from that. And when I was exposed to composers such as Yorgi Leggetti, uh, Karl Heinz Stockhausen, Elliot Carter, and others, way down the line, later on in life, in, by the 70s and the 80s, it made sense to me at the moment, at that moment, Let's see, which it would have never done had I uh, come in from music alone.